Hello, and welcome to our third annual Global Private Equity Report, for which partners from Morrison & Forrester's private equity team review the key trends from 2022 and present the outlook for 2023. I'm Marcia Ellis, Global Co-Chair of Morrison & Forrester's private equity practice. I'm Patrick Hewitt, also Global Co-Chair of our private equity practice. And I'm Mitchell Presser, private equity partner and co-chair of Morrison & Forrester's food and ag practice. Let us share with you some of the global trends we are seeing. Many of our predictions for the global PE market last year came true in 2022, including After the frenzied speed of transactions in 2021, there was a real slowdown in transactions in the second half of 2022. Tech M&A in 2022 was behind 2021's historic run, but still well ahead of 2020 and the preceding years. In the U.S., there has been increased regulatory scrutiny following an unprecedented reduction in regulations during the Trump administration. Elsewhere, significant regulatory challenges have increased in Germany, the U.K., and China, affecting cross-border PE acquisitions. Mainstream PE funds continue to increase their focus on ESG, with increased investor expectations and reporting requirements. The SPAC wave slowed down significantly as a result of market-driven and regulatory factors. SPAC IPOs are now much less common, and DSPACs are challenging, typically dependent on structured securities to raise capital. As we predicted, there was a heavy focus on future-proofing transaction structures with an eye to new or anticipated tax regulations. Debt financing costs rose dramatically, pushing forward creative thinking when looking for new strategies to deploy capital. Fundraising markets slowed for the first time in years, but there was still significant interest in directing funds to leading, well-seasoned private equity sponsors. As exits via IPOs became scarce, funds looked to secondary sales and continuation vehicles as alternative exit options. Now let's take a look at what we can expect in 2023. According to our recent MoFo Tech M&A survey report, Tech M&A volumes will increase with AI and machine learning leading the way. Utilizing their stores of dry powder, PE sponsors will take advantage of the opportunities offered in distressed assets and from companies in need of capital. PE funds will look for more structured investments while placing bets on good businesses that can weather a recession. In addition to the more traditional consumer-led sectors, we are keeping an eye on ag and ag tech, fintech, AI, and healthcare as the hot sectors. Economic growth may heat up faster in China than other countries resulting in global funds increasing their allocations to China investments. ESG investments will get more complicated due to varying requirements from the U.S. and EU, as well as U.S. state-led anti-ESG legislation affecting pension fund investments in those states. According to our recent Asia Funds ESG survey, we expect private equity firms in Asia to reevaluate their approach to ESG and work to bring their ESG practices in line with peers in Europe and North America. Private equity funds will be more conservative with an increased focus on portfolio company profitability. Following an expected round of volatility, debt market conditions will improve with higher prices and greater scrutiny, and bank-led deals will remain conservative. Alternative capital providers will continue to lead in U.S. leveraged financings. Exits will vary by region. While exits in the U.S. and Europe may be more limited, with funds reluctant to sell in a down market, in China, with the lifting of COVID restrictions and anticipated increased economic growth, exits will likely pick up steam. Apart from the global trends we just covered, the report also includes our predictions for the United States, Latin America, Europe, United Kingdom, China, Southeast Asia, and Japan. We also discussed some of the hottest themes in the PE industry, including ESG and distress situations, in more detail. We wish to thank all our global contributors to this report. Please download the report to read more and follow us on the MoFo PE Briefing Room to receive insights on the global PE market.